guys welcome back to my channel today i will be doing uh, my first episode in my skincare journey here so we're going to go into all of my products um, that i use to help me with my acne now i'm gonna kind of let you see my skin i have some dark marks up here some pimples a lot of these are dark marks um i have some right here as well a few pimples and friends here um that are healing and going away um but the majority of what i have are dark spots um and we'll go over what i'm using um for this i have a lot of skincare concerns i do have a little bit of darkness um like a sunspot or something right there um i do tend to have it right here on my nose as well um depending on what products i use sometimes i can get that to go away or look very um less noticeable um my acne is cystic acne for the most part and i believe that mine is hormonal um i noticed that when it's around that time of month i'll get some cysts and stuff usually in this area right here and around my mouth i have been recently getting them on my forehead which is kind of new usually that stays pretty clean for the most part um so it's more of a cystic acne hormonal um stress related um type thing i also have been dealing with some digestive issues and more recently i kind of think that maybe that also plays a big part into it is maybe um digestive issues there must be some sort of link between those two so I, i've been trying to take supplements to help with that and that does appear to help with my acne um but i've been i've had acne maybe since i was 18 years old i am 31 years old so this is something that i've dealt with for a long time and i have tried nearly everything on the market um everything from proactive to getting facials and using uh professional brand skincare products um everything at the drugstore um high-end stuff from sephora um and you'll see i have a pretty uh decent selection of skincare products i don't think i have any shit in my collection um i don't care for anything at the drugstore very harsh chemicals um are in those products often they um, like to offer the world in their claims and they do not deliver their ingredient list on there is complete shit um i don't really touch much from the drugstore but i do like like um, affordable skincare products and I think I'm going to plan on moving more um, in that direction. That's kind of what I'm dealing with. I am so desperate to take care of this issue on my skin. It's a huge, huge, huge insecurity of mine um, because I feel like I'm ugly and I'm not worth it. Um, I have to cover up my face or people aren't going to like me. And I know that people with acne, we all feel that way. Um, and it is something that's normal um, and that there's not necessarily a treatment for. So you really have to go out there and try a bunch of bullshit that's on the market to try to um, counteract and uh, to, to try to find a solution for your problem and if you're like me you've made it from 18 to 31 and still haven't found anything and it's not for lack of trying people probably look at my face and think that it, people look at my face and judge me and think that I don't clean my skin uh, and that I don't know anything good about skincare um, and that I'm not washing my face I'm not I'm, I have a poor diet and all these judgments that people pass at you um, when you are dealing with acne and it could not be further from the truth Truth, how hard I try to make my skin clear and this is the result of it um, in this right here is my skin behaving it can be worse and it is kind of upsetting um, if you ever talk to men usually um, and they use like the same bar of soap that they were washed the rest of their body with and wash their face with it um and they have perfectly clear skin it's very aggravating uh, to me when you see people like that that don't even try to have perfect skin and you try so hard um that there's nothing out there for you and i really want to make this series of video um for people who like skincare um and for people who deal with the same problems that i deal with maybe we can boost each other's confidence maybe we can um discuss us, um, things related to skincare and help each other and build a community um, so that's kind of where I'm at um, with this I really want to help 
people and maybe shed some light on a lot of bullshit that goes on in the skincare part of things um and things like that and maybe i find stuff that works and we can share it and people can share um their ideas with me and maybe i can try them and maybe their suggestions can help um so yeah that's what i'm thinking um with this um i'm to the point where if basically to the point where if somebody said you know if you smear monkey shit on your face that that's going to clear your acne then i'd be going to my local zoo and arranging um them a time where i can go there and collect monkey shit and pay for it and do all that and smear it on my face i'm to that point um where i'm just so fed up that i'll just do anything um and i'll buy anything and I bought spent a lot of money on skincare a lot of time and a very consistent um so if you're here to judge or judge other people in the comments then goodbye uh we don't need you here um but yeah I'm going to go ahead before we jump in one more thing I know this is super long-winded I'm sorry this is probably going to be a long video um but when we go over the products I'm going to try to just shoot through I'm not going to say a whole lot about them because I don't want this to be a really long um a video um but i do want to say that i'm obviously not a skincare expert i'm just somebody who's struggled with acne and always trying to find a solution for my acne and trying to do my research and use the best skincare products um and do stuff like that and i'm not a skincare expert so i think that if you are dealing with the same problems you can take some of the things that i say into consideration but ultimately your health um and your skin is your responsibility and it's up to you to use your better judgment um, before using any products for anybody online or anybody in the store uh, Sephora Walgreens wherever you're shopping take that into consideration but it's ultimately your judgment um, to make whether or not you think it's best for you and your skin so with that disclaimer, we're going to go ahead and move in. My first little segment that I want to share with you um, is my supplements that I take because I do think that it's something inside the body um, that creates this inflammation and problems at the top of your skin, either a hormonal imbalance, some digestive issues, or whatever it may be. I try to uh, fix that. And over the years or over time, I'm sure that this will switch up. But um, for right now, I take the Trader Joe's turmeric turmeric is known to help with inflammation in the body um, and it's really good I think that it's known for a lot of benefits you fight cancer um, in that regard um, the another thing that I've been taking is not necessarily skincare related but this is zinc or I'm sorry calcium with magnesium and zinc I've noticed that a zinc also helps with inflammation in the body and does help um, with acne so I take this because I do need a calcium supplement in my daily uh routine um i was when i was younger allergic to dairy products so i didn't often get a lot of uh, calcium in my body so now i'm trying to supplement that so i don't get osteoporosis and then this also has zinc in it um to assist and i think that does help with the um healing process um and i do think it does help with inflammation Another thing um, is this ultimate uh, Renew Life Ultimate Flora Women's Care Probiotic. Um, I take this and I do notice obviously a difference in my skin as well. I get these off Amazon. I don't know if I'm going to get this one again. I did have one that I liked a little better than this I might get again, but just so you know, I do put a probiotic in my daily routine. Um, it helps me with my digestive issues and it does seem to help um, with my acne as well. It's not perfect, but um, it's there. And then another one that this is something that my sister uh, took me to here and this is the Alani New Balance of Vitamins. And these are kind of expensive. These are $50. I, get the, I got these off Amazon um, and you can also get them at your local GNC store. Um, and this here is supposed to help with hormonal balance, weight management, improved mood, supports a complexion and brighter skin. And I do think um, that this has a, a helped out a lot. I don't know if you've ever watched my videos before, but I was dealing with a lot of acne in this region right here um, and down here. And I've seen 
quite a difference in that um like kind of mask me area um right now what you're seeing is a lot of dark spots but this has really helped out with that um you're going to notice in my um videos if you watch them that um my sister has influenced me in uh, quite a lot of ways in the way that i purchase things um so she she put me onto this one and she um also likes she also likes beauty products as well and is really into skincare hair care makeup the whole thing just like i am so we share that in common so we always bounce ideas off of each other um so you're gonna hear about her a lot um but this was one of her recommendations and this actually works pretty well um this is my second bottle i have like a couple two more days of pills i need to get on amazon and order this right now but this is my second bottle i'm going to continue to use this um i do think that it has really helped my skin um in the uh, acne department but obviously I got a lot of dark spots that I need to address. So, all right, now we're moving into my AM skincare routine. This is where I put the most amount of products on my skin, so I'm just going to show you them and tell you what I use. Um, typically in the mornings, um, I read somewhere that um, you maybe don't have to or shouldn't wash your face as much um, so that your skin is able to regulate its oils and it can keep the good bacteria on your skin um, and help your skin regulate itself. Um, when you strip it of all of its oils and the good bacteria on your skin, um, it makes it so your skin's a little off balance. So by not washing your face um, two times a day, I only try to do one time a day. So in the morning, usually I'm just splashing my face with water and I have noticed that it has helped. Um, so if you are struggling with that, try to use, uh, try looking at your cleanser first and making sure it's not a stripping cleanser. And then secondly, um, maybe take a look into not washing your face in the morning. Wash it really good with just plain water, pat it dry and go in with your skincare. I do, however, use, um, use sometimes use uh, soap and water to clean my face if I do wear makeup um, to make like an Instagram look or something like that and then I wash it off and then go about my day um, so if I do that this is my favorite uh, cleansing oil to get makeup off the bare face or the formula 1006 I think that's how you say it uh, bare face beauty skin moisturizing cleansing oil with almond and vanilla um, this is just more, mainly like a almond oil um, product here any oil oil will get this off of your face in fact I think what I'm going to do they have a large like jar jug of uh, almond oil on Amazon for like 16 bucks and I'm thinking that's just what I'm going to use to take my makeup off um, and it works just fine um, this is very excellent at removing my makeup um, the only thing is this is like $10 at Ulta um, it is a little expensive but it is affordable as far as cleansing oils go people spend a lot you guys are spending a lot of money on cleansing oils just to take your makeup off and you just need an oil that's not going to clog your pores and almond oil is not there's nothing really in this has a decent amount of sunflower oil as well but there's really nothing in here that should clog your pores it should just break up your makeup break up your sunscreen and take it off and it shouldn't cost you all that much money so I really like this a very affordable never never breaks me out I never have any issues with that I have another cleansing balm that I tried this is the Sephora one this is new um, and this has a lot of fragrance in it it smells it smells like flowers to me which I attribute to funerals for some reason when I was younger I went to a funeral and that must have been like my first association with flowers because every time I smell flowers I think of funerals but it reminds me of that it reminds me of like flowers at a funeral but anyway I'm weird but yeah I tried this cleansing balm very very highly fragrant and I do feel like when I use this I do feel like I do break out and I don't know if recently that's the reason why I'm having these problems um but this cleansing balm is ten dollars at Sephora very affordable um very much like very much like the popular one at Sephora the the um brand name escapes me right now but I'll put it down here what the uh name of that brand is um but their cleansing balm is 
is very popular. Um, and this one here, I mean, looking at the ingredient deck, there's not like a whole lot of good things um, in it. And I just think you need a oil, affordable basic oil to get your makeup off. An almond oil, you can get it for $16 in a very large jug. And then just maybe like keep whatever you have um, small like that, refill it with the Amazon stuff, squirt it out and, and cleanse your skin off with that just to get your makeup off. Um, it's not going to give any benefits to your skin. I really don't think you need to spend much money on it, but that one is very, very highly fragrant, going to be irritating to the skin in my opinion, and I feel like it's irritated mine. So I haven't really messed with that too much, um, but that's another option that I do have to remove makeup. I think I might pass along to somebody else because it's not really my favorite. So in the morning, I have this in my bathroom, um, and this is a Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser here. Um, I'm not a big fan of this, if I'm being honest, but I got a humongous one of it, so I'll be using it for a while. Um, but I really like gentle milky cleansers. I don't know how I've gone this far in the video without letting you know that I have like dry skin. So I have products for dry skin. Um, but yes, I have the set of fell that I clean my face with after the cleansing oil. And I have been using this as well, the Ferreo. Um, when I do that, like I said, it's not often. I usually just spray it with um, water, rinse it off with water. But by the way, another thing is that I work nights um, and my husband um, works days. So our master bathroom is where I keep all of this stuff. And I have a bathroom right behind here where I keep all my nighttime stuff and where I shower. Um, when I get home at night at midnight, I don't want to wake him up. Our bathroom like has just an open um, like entryway to it in the master bath. There's no like door or anything. So it'd be really loud if I come home and take a shower and wash my face and do all that fun stuff in that bathroom. Room. So I just have a bathroom right here that I have my nighttime stuff in. So like I can't really travel um, with this. This stays in the master and the other stuff I use at night is in this bathroom over here. Um, so if there's ever any confusion with that. So this one, um, I use the Ole Hendrickson H2O Dark Spot Toner. Um, and I use this and I it, initially I really felt a dif difference in the way that this has made my skin um, feel. But I don't know if it's like it's a year old. And another thing, guys, is I don't use cotton pads with this. I just scoop my hand like this and put a little bit in my hand like that. Do this and just pat it on my skin. Um, and it saves a lot of product. If you're cheap like me, then don't use any cotton when you're applying toner. Cup your hand like cup your hand like this put a little bit in the center and dab it on your skin and you are going to save yourself so much money because you are not wasting any product. But I've had this for a year. I've made this last for a year. This is about, I think, $30. Um, and I thought at first it was really working. I do feel a tingle when I put it on my skin now, so it's doing something, but I feel like it was doing more for my dark spots and I'm wondering if it like went bad or something. Um, but yeah, I also have the Ordinary uh, Glycolic Acid Toning Solution. I do the same thing. I just cut my hand, put this in there. Sometimes I mix the two. Honestly, I don't know if that's a good thing, but sometimes I mix it. Sometimes I use this one and sometimes I use that one. One. Um, but yeah, I use both of these. I like both of them. I don't really have too much of a problem with that. Um, so my next step after I have applied some type, either one of those liquid exfoliants is to go with the vitamin C serum. Um, and I have three vitamin C serums, the Ole Hendrickson Truth Serum. I liked it. I thought it was a pretty decent pairing actually with this Ole Hendrickson um, dark spot toner. I feel like when I was using those together, dark spots were uh, moving away and clearing up pretty quick. Um, but yeah, I don't know that I really want to spend too much money on this. I really wanted to try it because there's a lot of hype around it. And there's also like not really that decent of an ingredient deck. So I wanted to try it. I don't think it's that bad. I didn't notice a difference in the firmness of my skin, but I did feel like uh, dark spots were um, clearing up on my skin a little faster. The other thing that I have tried because it was so popular um, and wanted to give it a try is the Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum. Um, this right here, I don't know why this is so popular, but it's nearly $90 serum that I spend money on. And um, I'm not really noticing too much of a difference in this. Um, at first I did feel like it did clear away the darkness um, on my face, like the melasma that I have. Um, and I think maybe this has helped with that, but as far as like clearing dark spots and stuff like that, it's just, man, I wouldn't spend the money on that again, honestly, but that's something that I'm trying to work through. Um, and I use that a few times a week, but I've really been trying out this new Good Molecules Vitamin C 
uh, boosting powder. Um, and this says you only use it three times a week. And I was like, but that's not a lot. Why don't I just use this every day? This will burn your skin, guys. <laughs> this is very powerful stuff. It's 100% L-exorbic acid. Um, and you just put a little, it's got a little scooper, but I left in my bathroom so I don't lose it. Uh, because then I'll be like, shit, I don't know how much I'm supposed to be using here. I need a little scooper. So I left it in there so I didn't lose it so I can keep track of it. But yeah, I use this about three times a week now. And then I use either this one or this one before um, the other days of the week and I really need to go through it like this is like almost gone I need to you know use this up because these are gonna go bad this one is probably not gonna go bad and I really was interested because vitamin C is not very stable really interested to try this out and this guys you put on your face and it stings it does do something it will dry out your skin you do need to be careful with this and probably only use it like a couple times a week at first and build your way up this is some potent stuff very affordable vitamin c powder and i have been kind of impressed with this but i'm trying that out i'm going to give you guys review on that when i finish up the whole bottle another thing is the good molecules uh, discoloration correcting serum um i bought and i put a little scoop of this in when i use this the day that i use this i use this every day and then when i use this i put a little scoop in with this and mix it it does feel kind of gritty on the skin um when you put the vitamin c so what I do is I just like it feels gritty I just rub it into my skin until I don't feel grit no more so I feel like I've penetrated it into my skin a little bit but yeah I'm also using this um, discoloration serum from good molecules Another thing that I've been using is the Super Fruits, the Earth to Skin Super Fruits Illuminating Banana Eye Cream. I've really been enjoying that. And then I put on the Proteiny of uh, Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. I really like this. I really like this a lot. I do notice a difference. I don't know if I'm going to be repurchasing it. I might try uh, something else, but I always try something else and I always go back to that one. And it hurts so bad when you go to pay for it because it's so expensive. I follow it up with the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Press uh, Rose Hip Seed Oil. Uh, really impressed with that. And then my favoriteest, um, favorite sunscreen here, Aveeno Positively Mineral Sensitive um, skin here. This is very good to wear under makeup. I've never had any complaints. This has to be like my 10th bottle or something like this. I also appreciate that this has 21% zinc oxide. I do think that this zinc oxide does help with inflammation in the skin. I appreciate that it's in this uh, sunscreen. This sunscreen has never broken me out. I, it, it is white because it has so much zinc oxide in it that you do have to rub it into your skin. Once you rub it into your skin, it gives you a beautiful glow. I've not had any issues with any pilling with any of the skincare products that I've used over the uh, over the last couple of years uh, when I've used this. Um, I've never had any issues with burning or anything like that. I think anybody with any skin type could use this and you can find this at local Walmart, it's on Amazon, it's at a lot of places. And I need a new one. I have a backup here, but I I do I really like this one I think it helps with my acne with inflammation um, doesn't help it doesn't break out my skin that's the biggest part when you have acne is a lot of sunscreens irritate the skin this doesn't have any dimethicones or anything else like that in my opinion dimethicone does kind of irritate my skin so I've kind of steered clear of having that in my skincare every once in a while some of my makeup products have it in there but yeah keep it free and clear in my skincare products and you wouldn't you would be surprised how many skincare products I actually have um, dimethicone in it. Uh, one last thing that I didn't mention is usually about once a week or so I try to use this Good Molecules Pineapple Exfoliating Powder. I just bought this um, and I have really appreciated this. I don't know how exfoliating it is. Once you get it and you kind of get it wet and then go into your skin, it just kind of foam up. But so far I've really been appreciating this one. And another step that I take usually sometimes after all of my skincare products, I have been using this Tower 28 SOS um, daily uh, rescue facial spray um, and I'm almost done with that um, I don't know my full thoughts on this one I don't know that it really does much to the skin um, but I do use that as well to use it I do want to go into next like some masks that I use I have been using the fourth ray beauty aha moment exfoliating enzyme mask and like it another enzyme mask is like a holy grail for most people is the ordinary AHA 30% BHA 2% 
and peeling solution. I have appreciated that one. Um, this Glam Glow mask has helped me uh, pretty well. I usually put either this one on once a week um, in the Innisfree Pore Clearing Clay Mask on once a week. And then on occasion, if I think I need it, I'll do one of these exfoliating masks. I'm not like very good about the exfoliating masks, but when I think my skin needs it, I will apply a mask. And usually during the day, I work nights, so sometimes I'll do that um, before I get ready for work. I'll put that on, then I get ready for work or something like that when I feel like my skin needs it. So now moving on to my nighttime skincare routine, which is simplified. It used to be a lot worse, but I really just use a few products. Um, to get my makeup off, I have the Bare Face Beauty in my shower over here as well, and I have another one in the master bathroom. Um, so I use that, get the makeup off, and this is my favorite, 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 favorite face wash. It's a La Rose Pose Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. This is super gentle um, on the skin. It does have ceramides in it, niacinamide in it. I think it has some probiotics in it as well. Um, and this just this is really great it's sulfate free fragrance free uh soap free um it doesn't strip the skin but it cleans the skin if you just use this and will get your makeup off um and i really appreciate it and what i what and if people say that these are the same they are not try the cetaphil try to get your makeup off of this good luck to you it you, it's gonna be a shit show you're not gonna be able to get it off this actually is gentle on the skin but it cleans the skin very well i'm very impressed with this and i do purchase it i ended up buying the cetaphil one because this is like 15 dollars, and i was trying to be cheap because this comes with more in it and it's cheaper but once this is up and i might just end up giving that to somebody and just keep this one in my bathroom and in my shower and just exclusively use this one for when I need it because this is my favorite. I feel like this does and it has helped my skin um, and it's the best gentle one on the market and I don't feel like it has anything bad. I really try to stay away from sulfates and fragrances and this, this is just it for me. I absolutely love this one. So I wash my face with that every single night and then I use the um, COSRX Advanced Snail Muse in 96. This I used to think really helped my skin quite a bit. Like when I got pimples, they weren't cysts, they were just pimples, like regular pimples. And I thought it was really helping me, but I've been using this for a couple years now. Um, and I noticed that it doesn't, it's not like nearly as potent. And I wonder if maybe the formula is not as potent because it got so popular because to be honest, to get a bunch of snail mucin to make these has to be a real pain in the ass. Like, how are you, how are you getting all of that? I, I don't know. That That's a really good question. Are they just like milking snails for this or like, what's the deal on that? I don't know. It's, I don't know if it's the formula or my skin got used to it. If you guys use this, tell me in the comments below if you think that this is not as potent as it used to be because I don't think that it is and then the other thing that i use i use two more things um 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 maybe like three to four nights a week i use the trunk elephant a passioni retinol cream um and i bought this because i buy the little ones because i feel like the product stays more potent that way if you get a big long tube i feel like when you get towards the end um it's probably expired um because it's not really in an airtight container or anything like that but i did look online the other day and it looks like they have repackaged packages in more of an airtight container um more to be like this drunk elephant product um i really have appreciated this one i don't think that it has messed my skin up in any way it's got a lot of hydrating ingredients in it and along with the retinol i have noticed a lot and my texture has um really improved i do have like ice pick scars on my face and i really feel like this is helping it and when i do use this i do feel like it's helped with my wrinkles on my forehead as well so i continue to use this um at night and then I go over everything. My last step at night is to put this 100% cold press virgin marula oil from The Ordinary on my face. And that completes, oh, that doesn't necessarily complete it here. We also, when we need to, we put these pimple patches on. I'm not like a really big fan of the ones that you can find to put like on your skin. I really do like these bands. I messed up and I got the blister ones, but these still work. I get these and I just cut them up with scissors. I have scissors in the bathroom. I put these on. These stick to the skin better and I feel like they actually get 
the junk out of your skin better so i do really like these ones as well so if i need to treat a pimple um that's how i've been doing it as you can see that we've gone over all of my skincare products i put on my skin and you didn't see any benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid in it at all because over the years i just realized that they just irritate my skin more and i don't use that i try to be as gentle on my skin and try to treat it um with stuff like this and you'll see with my devices is what my plan is we're gonna move into devices i have this wonderful little led face mask that i got off amazon by the way for devices i do have an amazon devices video and i'll have it linked down below if you want to check that out for more in depth but this led face mask i was using um for the green light in it to help with the dark spots that i have so i have this and I use this about two times a week I was using it once a day but that just really is too much um, so I have cut back and I've done about two times a week on that and I use various different types of light like I just do whatever I'm feeling really um, if you want more information on that go on my video the next thing that I have that I've been using on my face is this IPL intense pulse light um, here that I got off Amazon for like 80 bucks you can get these when I looked and when I did my Amazon device video it looked like it was like a hundred bucks um, but the the prices do fluctuate on these um, but I have been using this on my face as well as on my body to remove body hair so we're testing this out to see if this should help with dark spots um so we're going to see and test this device out on that as well as obviously my skincare products the other thing i use to help treat acne is this high frequency machine um i use this kind of as a zit zapper if you will so i use this as well and usually about once a week most of the time here i'm not exactly perfect on it but i will use this ultrasonic skin scrubber that i got off amazon for like 15 bucks i use this as well like on a day um when i'm doing my mask about once a week and then the zit zapping stuff with the high frequency machine that I use I use this about one to two times per week to zap some zits and then this I use once a week when I am using it to remove my body hair I put that on my face first and I have a little bottle in my bathroom with alcohol um, in it a little spray bottle so I spray it with alcohol wipe it down with a uh, cotton pad and I do that to all my devices before using them so I wipe the body or the IPL down and use it on my face on the highest setting that it has um it's got one through five i use it on five on my face and i think i'm noticing a difference i've only used it like three times but we're gonna see over time um what we think that is and yeah oh i the only other thing is i got this today at target um i got this little bad boy i don't know if it's gonna help me with acne or not but it's a plum beauty uplifting facial roller um and it's supposed to be like the nurse jamie one and it is very cool and i'm actually surprised but i'm also going to be using this i'm gonna see if this helps uh my forehead wrinkles because i'm 31 and they're starting to get a little intense i am considering botox but i think i'm gonna wait a few years um before i do anything like that i honestly kind of like it because i do makeup reviews and we can kind of see what they do to wrinkles because everyday people have wrinkles these be a lot of these beauty gurus have so much work done um they're almost not relatable anymore so i want to keep that in mind as well but i also have this little device that i think i'll be testing out and letting you guys know how this little bad boy works that i got and that was at walmart for i think 20 dollars. very affordable you can find a lot of a lot of brands are coming out with these um right now um but so my plan i'm gonna put um a little thing that i made on my ipad it's in my handwriting so hopefully you can see it but basically my plan of attack for this i feel overwhelmed i have a lot more shit but this is the main stuff that i use and i get a little overwhelmed because i just don't know is it the devices that are working because some of this stuff i'm trying that's new or is it this we really don't know so i want to keep the consistency of my am skin care routine um up the same the only thing that i'm thinking i'm going to do is obviously focus on using up some of these products that i think are going to expire very soon um and get those out of the way um try to hone in in, um, and use the toners that I have they're getting old and I think they're not as potent as they used to be and you guys can tell me down in the description box if you think that's true too when you get down to the bottom of, of stuff like this are you noticing that it's not as effective um is it possible your skin getting used to it or the product is expiring um it's past its shelf life if you will 
Um, the Pam skincare routine, I did think that I do want to add since I'm not washing my face as frequently as I was. I was making a lot of Instagram looks um, in the mornings before I went to work and now I'm not doing that as much and I was breaking out and I was thinking that it was because my skin wasn't getting clean good enough so that's why I put this in the AM but I have two different bathrooms so I think I'm going to put this in my night my nighttime skincare routine now and use it in conjunction with this at night. I think I'm going to try that out. I think that could use some improvement that way that device is being used. Um, the other thing that I thought of because I, there's a lot of confusion around this mask and whether or not I think it works. Um, and it's probably because I'm using so many different lights. I'll use the red light, the blue light, the green light, the yellow light. Like I'm using all these different lights and I'm not even sure what's working because I'm trying so many of them. So I think what I'm going to do with this is test out its capabilities um, of the um, acne finding benefit of it uh, because there's really not, I'm, I'm really missing in my skincare routine um, acne finding treatments I feel like and I want to kind of use my devices for that. For instance, high frequency machine is supposed to be like more of a spot treatment. We're using that for acne fighting, pimple fighting, and this I think I am too. There's a purple light, which is the mix of the blue and the red. The red helps with inflammation. The blue kills the P acne bacteria on the skin. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to structure this to use it two times a week for 20 minutes. So 40 minutes a week, I'm going to use this mask and report back to you guys whether I think that this is worth it, worth it because honestly, I'm not sure. I really want to hone in on that and determine whether or not I think that's something that needs to be a staple in my routine or if it's complete shit and I can save myself 40 minutes a week and do something else. So I want to test out this mask. I want to keep my AM skincare routine okay. I want to keep my supplements um, up to date and okay. I think everything's good with that. I don't think I need to add anything as far as that goes right now. I want to keep the probiotic and I want to keep this um, balanced vitamin uh, right here pretty good. Um, I want to keep everything just about the same. Um, I think that's all that I wanted to cover um, at this time. Um, I do want to say I don't exactly know when I should update you guys. I have a feeling that a month is too soon, um, but two months is too long. So what do you guys think? Should I meet in the middle and update you guys on my skincare and where I'm at in my journey in about like a month and a half? Like right now, it's nearly the end of February. It's February 27th. If I update again, you know, sometime at the beginning of April, um, is that is that a good enough time frame to update you on some of these skincare products? I think at the beginning of April, I should have completely finished this. Um, I think that I should have finished this by now um, and hopefully this one and I probably have a really good idea about that mask, the LED face mask, um, whether I think it's any good, the vitamin C serum, did that help um, and try to update you guys on anything that I think that I need to adjust. But for now, I think I need to adjust and keep mainly everything the same. Add this into nighttime, continue using this, um, focus on the face mask um, and stuff like that i can't really think of anything um right now but i have my plan that i have up here if i missed anything obviously you're able to read that um if i missed it those are the kinds of things that i'm focusing on and i'm bringing you guys along my journey i'm not really structured i don't even really know what i'm really doing i have um, kind of not a whole lot of direction I can take this because my skin is the way that it is and it's just a skincare type video but yeah that's what that is if you guys like this content please a thumbs up this video if you like me um please check out the rest of the videos on my channel and if you're interested please subscribe to my channel i'd love to have you here if you got anything please shout out in the comments below um if you want to discuss some of the things that i'm using or if you have any suggestions some uh, constructive criticism that you would like to give to me please put that in the comments below i do read all of those i appreciate you guys watching my video today take care bye